Have you ever wondered how the world's first stock market came into existence? Imagine a time when the world was vast, uncharted, and ripe with treasures from far-off lands. The 1600s were an era of adventure and exploration, when ships set sail to distant horizons in search of gold, porcelain, spices, and silks. It was the heyday of the Dutch East India Company, an empire of trade that would become synonymous with audacious voyages. But what fueled these grand escapades that spanned the globe? The answer lies in a financial model that was as revolutionary as it was daring. In this sprawling saga, we'll delve into the captivating history of the stock market, tracing its roots back to the Dutch East India Company's groundbreaking funding model. By the time this epic journey ends, you'll not only have a profound understanding of how the stock market operates, but you'll also gain insights into how companies utilize it in the modern age and how it influences the global economy. So sit tight and get ready for an adventure that spans centuries and continents. The birth of stock markets, a seafaring revolution. Starting with our journey, our tale unfolds with the birth of stock markets, a chapter that resonates with high seas adventures and audacious ventures. Picture the Dutch East India Company, a behemoth in its own right, faced with the monumental challenge of funding global voyages. Imagine a fleet of ships, each a modern-day pirate's dream, navigating treacherous waters in pursuit of the world's most coveted treasures. But where did the money come from to fund these colossal escapades? The Dutch East India Company, in a stroke of financial ingenuity, reached out to private citizens. These were not just wealthy magnates, they were everyday individuals who were willing to invest their money in exchange for a share of the adventure and the profits. Now, let's step into the vibrant streets of Amsterdam, the heart of commerce in the 17th century. Here, in the midst of traders and explorers, was a place where tales of distant lands and grand expeditions flowed as freely as the coffee. It was the coffee houses, these bustling hubs, where shares of the Dutch East India Company were bought and sold. These shares represented more than just ownership. They were tickets to an extraordinary adventure. Imagine the excitement as investors traded these shares, akin to treasures of uncharted waters. Owning a share meant owning a piece of the grand voyage, a chance to be part of a historical moment. These shares weren't just pieces of paper, they were access keys to the world's most thrilling journey. As more and more investors clamored for these keys, the demand rose, and with it, the stock prices. It was the rise of the stock prices that powered the company's market value, allowing them to embark on even more ambitious voyages. However, in this exhilarating story of financial endeavors, there was another side to the coin. If, for any reason, the company's journey seemed less profitable, investors weren't bound to stay aboard. They had an exit strategy, selling their shares. This was like a storm brewing on the horizon. As shares were hurriedly sold, the demand dropped, and the stock prices plummeted. The company's market value, sailing in the same boat, took a dip, leaving investors with heavy losses. It was a seesaw of supply and demand, a precarious balance influenced by various factors. Imagine the market forces as powerful waves in the ocean and the companies as vessels navigating through these unpredictable waters. Market forces fluctuated like the tide, influenced by the price of materials, shifts in production technology, and the ever-changing costs of labor. Investors, acting as experienced captains, were not just weathering the storm. They were cautious of changes in leadership, the captain and crew of the company's ship. Bad publicity was like a tempest, capable of wreaking havoc on a company's reputation. Add the looming shadow of new laws and shifts in trade policies to the mix, and you had a perfect storm of uncertainty. Now, introduce the human factor. Many investors were like adventurers setting sail for personal interests. They sold their valuable stocks to fund their own quests. Imagine an investor selling their stock to embark on a world tour, purchase their dream home, or support a cause they were passionate about. These personal motivations added another layer of unpredictability to the market. The result was a symphony of market forces and personal choices, a daily cacophony of variables that could make companies appear more or less successful than they actually were. In the stock market, perception often became reality, and the appearance of success was as crucial as actual success. 
the confidence of market participants held the power to trigger everything from economic booms to financial crises. This intricate dance of supply and demand was why most professionals recommended reliable, long-term investing strategies over quick cash grabs. Modern Day Stock Market – A Digital Revolution Now, let's fast forward to the present, where you'll witness the stock market in its modern-day form, a complex and dynamic system. It's not the exclusive domain of the wealthy and powerful, it's a digital arena open to anyone with an internet connection. Companies seeking to enter the stock market follow a well-structured path with a touch of red carpet glamour. Imagine the stock market's journey as a blockbuster movie. It starts with attracting the attention of the big investors, the VIPs of the financial world. These investors are like the key players, the ones who can make or break a company's entrance into the stock market. If they believe in the company, they get the first opportunity to invest. Once the big investors are on board, they sponsor the company's initial public offering, IPO. An IPO is akin to the grand opening of a blockbuster movie, complete with red carpets and eager fans lining up for the first show. This launch puts the company on the official public market. It's like throwing open the doors of a magical world to the public, where anyone with an appetite for adventure can buy a piece of the action. The act of buying stocks is like becoming a partner in the grand venture. These investors aren't just spectators. They're participants, their investment serving as wind in the company's sales. The company, now publicly traded, sets sail into the market. As it navigates these turbulent waters, it proves its mettle. More and more investors may spot the treasure on the horizon, and they, too, want in on the action. They start buying stocks, which leads to the bidding frenzy. It's like everyone wants the prized item, and the price keeps rising. This surge in stock prices is a reflection of the company's growing allure. For the company, it's a sign of validation. It shows how many people believe in their idea. Conversely, if the company's journey takes a perilous turn, investors might jump ship. They sell their stocks, hoping to make a profit before the company loses more value. It's a decision akin to abandoning a ship in rough waters with the hope of finding safer shores. As more stocks are sold and the demand diminishes, the stock price takes a nosedive. And with it, the company's market value plunges. Investors who didn't disembark in time are left with heavy losses, a reminder of the high stakes in the world of stocks. It's a precarious balancing act, a delicate interplay of hopes and fears, optimism and skepticism. The stock market is a digital amphitheater where the performances are constantly evolving, influenced by a multitude of factors. The companies are like actors on a stage, and the audience, made up of investors, watches their every move. They're attuned to market forces, the tide of material prices, the wind of changes in production technology, and the shifting sands of labor costs. If they sense a storm on the horizon, they might choose to leave the theater, if you like our video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. The Unpredictability of the Stock Market – A Market of Mysteries The stock market is a vast sea of unpredictability, a realm where the future is as elusive as a hidden treasure. Market forces, like invisible currents beneath the surface, have the power to shape the destiny of companies and investors alike companies find themselves navigating the shifting sands of material prices. The winds of change in production technology can propel them forward or leave them becalmed. Labor costs are like the crew, who can either steer the ship to success or lead it astray. Investors, the adventurers of the stock market, navigate these treacherous waters with caution. They're wary of changes in leadership, the captain and crew of the company's ship, Bad publicity is like a tempest that can wreak havoc on a company's reputation. And then there are the broader factors, new laws and trade policies, like sea monsters lurking in the depths, capable of causing havoc. Yet, there's another layer to this complex saga, the human element. Many investors are like explorers eager to set sail for personal interests. They might sell their valuable stocks to fund their own quests. Imagine an investor selling their stock to embark on a world tour buy a dream home, or support a cause they're passionate about. These personal motivations add another layer of unpredictability to the market. The result is a symphony of market forces and personal choices, 
a daily cacophony of variables that can make companies appear more or less successful than they actually are. In the stock market, perception often becomes reality. If a company appears to lose value, it can lead to an exodus of investors and, in turn, a loss of actual value. The confidence of market participants is the conductor of this symphony, capable of triggering everything from economic booms to financial crises. The stock market is a world of possibilities, where fortunes are made and lost in the blink of an eye. It's this inherent unpredictability that has led most professionals to advocate for reliable long-term investing strategies. In a market that's as changeable as the weather, they've learned to seek shelter in the safety of a long-term plan. The accessibility of the stock market, a new dawn. Now, let's shift our focus to the bright side of the stock market, accessibility. The stock market isn't just for the elite and powerful anymore. It's a dawn of opportunity, where the stock market is no longer an exclusive club for the privileged. With the advent of the internet, everyday investors can participate in the world of stocks just like the big players. It's a new dawn, a democratization of the stock market. Picture this. You're sitting in your living room, coffee in hand, gazing at your computer screen. With a few clicks, you're making investment decisions that were once the domain of the wealthy. It's a new age where information and opportunities are at your fingertips. The stock market, once an exclusive club, has thrown open its doors to everyone who is willing to learn the ropes. The democratization of the stock market has leveled the playing field. It's a bit like a modern-day Robin Hood tale where the riches of the stock market are shared with the common people. The internet is your Sherwood Forest, and you, the savvy investor, can now claim your share of the treasure. It's a remarkable shift in the financial landscape, a revolution that continues to evolve. Access to the stock market is no longer restricted to those with extensive financial knowledge or vast wealth. The barriers have crumbled, and opportunities are now within reach for all. This accessibility has empowered individuals to take control of their financial destinies, to be the masters of their own investment journeys. The democratization of the stock market isn't just a change in the financial world, it's a transformative shift in society. It's a testament to the power of technology to democratize access to opportunities and wealth. It's a new dawn where everyone has the chance to become a shareholder in the global economy, to participate in the growth and success of the companies they believe in. The Origin of the Stock Market – An Ever-Evolving Tale You see, the origin of the stock market is a story that blends innovation, risk, and incredible foresight. From the Dutch East India Company's audacious voyages to the modern-day digital trading platforms, it has become a saga of evolution. Now, as we close this chapter, remember that the stock market is more than just numbers and charts. It's a living, breathing story of human ambition and enterprise, and you have a part to play in its ongoing narrative. The stock market is a place where individuals, regardless of their background, can shape their financial destinies. Whether you're an experienced investor or just starting out, know that the stock market is a journey, a voyage that begins with the first step, getting invested. It's an adventure that invites everyone to participate in the ongoing story of commerce, innovation, and progress. So, now that you are enlightened, how will you start your own voyage? Well, the choice is yours, but this video is here to help you know about its history to somehow guide you as well. Well, if you found this video informative, please hit the like button and subscribe for more financial insights and history. Let's uncover the untold stories within the spectrum of marketing.